Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. I am the Smoky Panda and today we are going to look at leads and how to kind of get you started creating your own leads. I mean, <clears throat> leads is, I feel like is the hardest part for me, especially when making tracks and getting them right. But hopefully this little tutorial will help you get a head start and give you a better understanding of uh, what to do and how to approach leads if you get stuck. So this is my first little lead here. I'll take all the effects off. So it's literally just a pretty much an init preset from Silent. Cool, and then we'll I got like a chord layer underneath it, which is ultimately just a harm it's more of a harmony layer where I've just dragged the first note of the top line down to the third note in that scale so if that makes sense so next we're going to jump back up to our mono and we're going to duplicate it and what we're going to do here is just go to serum I mean, I'm going to use presets for this because basically what we're going to use is a bunch of super saw waves. So I'll grab, uh, which drag the virus. And this preset is from the Zatox pack. If you guys want to check that out, and we go. Take the reverb and delay off. And we're gonna rename this saw one, then duplicate it. And I'm gonna call this layer saw high. So pretty much we're gonna go into this this channel and just turn this one up an octave This is gonna be like kind of our character layer, so we'll call this our character. And we're gonna choose a different sound and we're gonna to listen to all these at once so we can get an idea. We'll loop that. two different ways we can do the reverb is we can literally add it onto the actual Barcel channel itself or we can send them to a sends channel. I prefer to send it to a sends channel because I feel like I have more control over it that way but I guess it's entirely up to you and how you feel like it and what works for you pretty much. So we go into our lead channel, lead reverb, we're gonna chuck this lead all the way up to A. <laughs> So don't worry about what these are doing, I'm disabling them, but pretty much we got our reverb, I've got around a 4.6 kind of thing, you can go longer if you want, and I have a open kind of reverb going on. If you have the acoustic reverb, I mean, it doesn't really matter what um, reverb you use, it's all kind of going to work the same way. So we're going to EQ that as well. 
And I'm gonna send the side chain from this uh, compressor here to the reverb so every time the re lead is hitting the reverb is docking the lead and coming back out. <laughs> Cool, and now we're also going to send it to a delay, so we're going to send it to our 1.8 delay. And delay, same thing, I don't really need these on. Um, we're going to go and change this to the lead. Start to change the lead, turn the ratio down a bit, and let's see what the H delay is doing. We go to on ping pong, 190 BPM, yep. Dry wet, and we're gonna just take out some of the lows here. Now we get to the fun part where we get the process. We are going to, I'm just going to take out some of the lows here, I've already got some ducks in here, obviously when I did this. Yeah, there's some nasty frequency around there. So, we're going to add our EQ, we're going to add uh, Fab Filter Satin as part of the processing and I automatically kind of go to magic mastering which is a preset in satin 1 or satin 2 it doesn't really matter you can if you got satin 2 it's in the v1 preset folder so you can come down to here and just go mastering and it's in the magic mastering section and what that does it's kind of cool man just gives a bit more life to the higher end of the of the lead big difference now we can add well everyone likes to use the vengeance multiband compressor uh, i've got it set to dam master tube and mixed down to around 70 percent don't need this low bit on now really brings it forward in the mix and we can add a CLA just to tame all that stuff that's being like just pushed forward another EQ which is just going to take out the lows and the harmonics we have added through the compressor and the saturation and just duck in the frequencies that you're hearing that are just really speaking out to you like they shouldn't be there and of course we're going to auto filter when we want to do the kind of thing throughout the breakdowns and stuff as you go into the drop so that's just an added extra we can also add, what I haven't added here is the, I love this plugin. If you don't have this plugin, I recommend get it because it's just, it just, it just makes everything better. It makes life good. So there's our top layer down, our chords. No, I don't, I don't really like that. Um. If we can just 
just kind of maybe. chords up with another set of chords uh, we'll go silent I just feel like they're lacking at the moment hey um, boom, boom, boom. sit there underneath the lead as just to give it that big um, big feeling of the lead that we want to hear and I mean leads take me forever and I've literally kind of just done this in a couple like 10 minutes or so but I do spend a lot of time trying to get the leads right because it's very important to get your leads right and sometimes it just doesn't work and I guess you're just going to experiment find different sounds um, and really see what works for you but this is kind of a basic kind of thing. I guess another thing we would do, I'd probably add another compressor on it because just to tame the tame the top because it's kind of killing me. Um, go propel. sound. you man I'm not really sure like where else to go with it but if you got any questions leave them below let me have a look and I would love to answer them and get back to you and any feedback so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for next time I'll talk to you soon bye